I'm here with uh, David Vaughn of Sound and Vision, and we are moving and grooving and answering questions uh, from people about audio and video. I will remind you that today's show, unlike Leo's show, when he's here, he'll talk about anything with a chip in it. But we're talking about audio and video specifically, and more specifically than that, enjoying audio and video as a consumer. So TVs, movies, stereo systems, surround systems, speakers, Blu-ray, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we're, we're absolutely happy to talk about. And uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go to line six here. Jocelyn in Orange County. Hey, Jocelyn, how you doing? Great. Thanks so much for taking my call, Scott and David. My pleasure. How can Hi. we help you? I have a Samsung Blu-ray player that we actually received as a bundle in 2011 with the TV we purchased. Mm -hmm. And one of the issues that has come up recently is I purchased an X-Files DVD, the new Blu-ray for the last season. And I put it in. It plays the promotional studio uh, image and music. And then it goes dead. Mm. So I returned the D the Blu-ray mm -hmm. um, and then got a replacement, and it does the same thing. So I even asked my neighbor to you know see if it would play on his Blu-ray player, and he had uh, I think it was an Xbox Blu-ray player, um, and he said it played just fine. Okay, well, so I'm trying to figure out: is it a new production thing? Is it a calibration thing? Two, it, it, it could be one of two things. Uh, first thing I would do with your Samsung is the firmware up to date. I think I did try to up to uh, update it. I would have to double check. Um, I know we had to do that with the TV. Yeah, that's um, uh, that was my first suggestion. Yeah, because well. the the firmware, um, as as Leo loves to point out, Hollywood is so afraid of us stealing their movies <laughs> um, and TV shows that they make it hard for regular consumers to actually watch their TVs and, and movies. And they could have changed the copy protection um, okay. that they use when they encode the disc, and you need the key to unlock it on your end. So the the trailers and such aren't locked, but the content of the show is. Yeah. So so that would be my first step is uh, go into, I believe on Samsung players, it's under settings and um, firmware update, firmware update. Something look like for that. firmware update or it'll go out and, and look. That is probably your issue. Yeah. Now you, you, you are able to play other Blu-ray discs in that player and they work fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that would be my guess as well, that it's probably the firmware. And uh, every once in a while when a, any Blu-ray player boots up, uh, or you put a disc in, it says, this may take a little while to boot up. Uh, make sure your firmware is up to date. So that okay. would be my first recommendation. You said you had another idea? Well, it is an X-Files disc. It could be an A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when it played in your, your neighbor's machine, that most likely is yours. I mean, there's a, a slight chance that the laser optical pickup is going out on the player, but that is yeah, so, so rare. So rare, and it would affect other discs Correct. as well. So Correct. Right. We think it's a firmware update problem. If you do that, I bet you you'll be fine. Okay, and so with the age of the player, do you think it's worth even trying to do the firmware update? Oh, sure. It's, it's free. Okay. Firmware update's free. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, then yeah. you can buy a Blu-ray player for 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, it, there's... <laughs> commodity items big time and, and the blu-ray player you'll get today will have a bevy of sp streaming options if you need them okay all right yep. thank you so much for answering my question you bet good luck